What's going on guys, Frank here. Just wanted to take a minute and talk about the modern banning and unbanning announcement tomorrow. Uh, could be nothing, right? It could be nothing. Recently, as recently as last week, and even this weekend, there are uh, premier modern level events. There was a pro tour last weekend. This weekend is a Grand Prix. Uh, so lots of modern information coming, which is interesting because that's kind of the thing you want when you are going to decide whether to ban or unban cards in modern. <sighs> for those of you who have watched my my content for a while, you may know that I'm a huge proponent of Jace being unbanned in modern. And I always see people saying, oh, Jace isn't going to be healthy in modern. Oh, Jace isn't a safe card to unban. Oh, Jace is super strong. And I get it. But I also think there's a certain appeal to saying something is broken and being scared about a card because having that opinion makes you feel like you're in the know, right? It gives you, it, it allows you to speak from a point of knowledge, from a point of experience. And you can say, that's a terrible card. That's, an, that's a card that I don't think should be unbanned because it's a very strong. And as soon as you you take this platform, uh, people are like, wow, this guy must really know what he's talking about because that's a, that's a strong opinion to have. So clearly you have, you know, evidence and, you know, a lot of statistics to back this up and things like that. It's just, it's a, it, once you take a platform and you, you take it that you, you take a, a staunch position like that. Um, a lot of times you're doing it because it's posturing, right? But I've given this a lot of thought, uh, saying Jay should be unbanned in modern was never a thing that I just kind of said flippantly and been like, yeah, unban him, see what happens. Um, I play a lot of modern. I've done modern Monday for like probably six years now. Um, I've, you know, I top into modern pro tour. So I, I, I play a lot of modern and I think I'm, I have a, a good grasp on the format, a lot of familiarity with modern as a format. But the thing is you have to look at the other cards in modern. So all weekend we've been watching Tron decks and Tron gets to play a Karn on turn three. Tron gets to play an Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger on turn four. I think both of those are far more terrifying than a Jace on turn four. You look at cards like Jace and it's four mana, it's a four mana planeswalker, but you also look at cards like Scape Shift, which is a four mana sorcery that literally wins you the game when you cast it. You don't cast it when you have four mana, but a lot of times you're not casting it too far after turn four in the in the decks that you're playing it. You know, you have to look at cards like um what's the other like in in uh, affinity, for example. What is Jace going to do against Affinity? You play out your hand. You put a cranial plating on a Vault Scourge. They tap four mana to play a Jace. They can bounce your Vault Scourge. You can put the cranial plating on something else and kill them. If you're not getting my point, Jace is a strong card. Jace is one of the strongest cards in Magic the Gathering. Uh, I don't think there's any question about that. No one is arguing that whatsoever. But Modern is not a format that rewards a card like Jace. Jace is going to supplement decks. It's going to supplement blue-white control decks. It's going to supplement black-blue control decks. It's going to su supplement es Esper decks, blue-red control decks. You're going to play a copy or two of Jace. You're never going to play three or four Jace, at least in my opinion. It's funny because this is the convention that people had when Jace was in Standard, right? Like, people were putting two Jaces in their deck, maybe three Jaces in their deck. They would put well, Jaces a one of in their decks. And then everyone collectively realized, holy crap, this is the best card in the deck. Let's put four Jaces in our decks. Maybe that happens in Modern too. I have my doubts. It's just not a format that rewards four mana Planeswalkers when they're not Karn or, you know, something ludicrous like that. All of the best decks in Modern right now don't care about Jace. Death Shadow. Okay, you bounce my Death Shadow. I still have a Tarmogoyf and another Death Shadow. It just doesn't do anything. If you're going to tap 4 mana to Brainstorm or to Fate Seal me, I'm probably going to kill you in response. That's simply how modern works. Let's talk about Bloodbraid Elf. I also think Bloodbraid Elf is probably fine to unban, but you also have to unban Jace, I think. I think these two have been these two have been linked ever since uh ever since their time in Standard. Um, the reason Jace wasn't as powerful as he was was because Bloodbraid Elf was able to come into play and kill a Jace. You play your Jace, I play B B Bloodbraid Elf and kill your Jace. It's as simple as that. There was a very real connection between these two cards, and you notice that after Bloodbraid Elf, Blood Elf rotated, Jace saw a lot more play, and it was just a stronger card in that environment. But, I mean, I think Bloodbraid Elf is the, the perfect spoil. Like, if you're playing against a deck like Blue-White Control, and you think Jace is going to push it over the edge... Bring in Bloodbraid Elf. Maybe the Jun decks get a little boost. Maybe uh, Teamer decks get a little boost. Maybe you can play Teamer with... Uh, 
I, I wasn't gonna say Aether Vial, but I, I really don't have, I have no idea what kind of shell it would be. But there's a lot of teamer like mid range teamer decks with Huntmaster of the Fells and things like that already. And you can just put Blood, Bloodbraid Elf in there and get a free Eternal Witness. I don't know. But the point is, like even even those decks are not gonna get a super great boost from Bloodbraid Elf because you're also going to have to mitigate your counter spells. You're like, do I play Romans in this deck now? Do I play Mana Leaks? I don't know because I have Bloodbraid Elf now. So it changes the way you build your decks. Um, but I, I, the thing about modern is let's take a look at the cards. Like if you want to talk about the cards that have been unbanned in modern safely, like we have sword of the meek, we have bitter blossom. Um, you know, I, Valakut was on the ban list and now it's not like there are tons of cards in modern great Golgari grave troll is the example that was unbanned was a little too strong. Now he's banned again, but it also gives you a great frame of reference to what happens when these things don't work out. Right? Like, okay. So we unbanned Jace. Oh, it's too powerful. All right, let's ban it again. I don't, like what I yeah you know what I mean like the, the thing about modern is I I like it but it definitely feels like there's some kind of like a, it almost feels solved right now does that make sense like all of the decks have been the decks for a long time and I would love to see Jace or Bloodbraid Elf or even cards like Stoneforge Mystic shake it up a little bit I was a little bit afraid of Stoneforge Mystic because that card is very very good um, but it's such an easy creature to remove that like if you're just if it's a, if Bloodbraid Elf if if Stoneforge Mystic says uh, draw a batter skull and then you can it's a one two that you can easily kill like it's not I don't think it's that great and that's a weird thing to say but I, I think that's true I think all of these are safe cards to unban uh, as far as bannings go I'm not looking forward to playing against Lantern a lot I, th I think you could probably take something out of Lantern because it's just it's not even it's not even that the deck is the strongest deck in the format I don't think that's true but it's very good it's just not fun to play against. It's not fun to watch. Uh, it, it ruins the, the the experience the same way Sensei's Dividing Top did uh, in, in like Legacy, or even that's why it was preemptively banned in Modern too, as well, because you you want you want to be conscious of time issues. So I don't know. I could see taking something from the from the from the Lantern deck. You know, maybe something like I, I can't see. I feel like if War of Invention is legal in Modern and it's an instant speed that searches for any green creature or any uh. Yeah, you can see what I'm getting at here. It searches for any artifact and puts it into play. Then maybe Green Sun Zenith is also fine. Because, I mean, if I can get a Primeval Titan for 7 mana. Um, or, you know, if you can get an Ensnaring Bridge for 6 mana at instant speed. I think you should be able to get a Primeval Titan for 7 mana. I, I don't think that's too much to ask. So, you know, there's cards on the list that, 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 on the banned list that don't really make sense in the context of what cards are already legal in Modern. And um, I think this is worth considering when you when you take a look at the the cards that you want banned or unbanned in modern. I think I, I think there's a there's a much larger conversation that could be had, and I, I think there's a lot of flexibility here. And I hope Wizards notices that. I hope they say like, we have Jace banned in a format where Scape Shift wins on you know off of all, also a four mana spell, you know, or we have we have Jace banned in a format where Karn comes down on you know a turn sooner than Jace. And you, you look at all these powerful things that are being done in modern, and it's just like. You know, I you can you can Gorio's Vengeance and Emrakul before Jace ever hits the board, and it's just like, really, Jace is what scares you. I get it. Like if Jace resolves and you're playing a mid a mid range kind of like uh, a long attrition game, Jace is gonna win. That's what he does. But it's not super easy to do that in modern. And if your deck is trying to do that anyway, you should be rewarded for it. I think if you're able to do that, like if you're able to survive to the mid game. And, you know, maybe Jace gives the, the control decks a little more game against the Lantern decks because it's an alternate win condition or, it you know, you can... I don't know. The point is I'm a huge fan of Jace. I think Jace is a super fun card. I think it's one of the most iconic cards in Magic, and I would love to see it uh, able to be played in Modern. Uh, Bloodbraid Elf I could care less about, but I also think it's pretty safe to take off the list, and it's one of the people, one of the cards people are most talking about. So, um, you know, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me definitely know what you guys... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Really appreciate it. Uh, smash those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.